Now, let's go to the fertilizer. Hello? Hi. This is what we call nano liquid organic fertilizer produced by AAC Miracle Feeders. AAC, I said it means what? Yes, that is AAC Miracle Feeders. Listen, this thing I have in my hand here, you see there are two colors. Yes, Do you see that now? Yes. They are Miracle 1 and the Miracle 2. We call them Miracle 1 and Miracle 2. We are not the ones that call it Miracle. We didn't Christianize it. They are produced in Thailand. But it is how the thing works. And people begin to say it's working like a miracle, not like a miracle. Then it's adopted as a miracle fertilizer. That's how the name came to be. Now, you can close your eye now <laughs> and look at economy and look at the people in the nearest future that are going into more food crisis. Population is growing, development is growing, many of our farmland has been converted to development and then the ones we have already have been destroyed by the chemical fertilizer. So in the nearest future, you are talking about food security, you are going to see what's called food scarcity. But by the use of nanotechnology in agricultural development of fertilizer, a little portion of land is going to serve you and your family and you'll be comfortable. Because with a little portion of land, you, you practice what is called continuous cultivation. Our forefathers and our, four, our, our elderly mothers. I remember my mother's garden when we were little. There is no time you go there. You don't block Anna. I don't know if you, those of us who are. There's no time you go there. Some of us are new generation. But the old ones, you discover. How do we do it? Listen. If you have your plant or your crop, these products are the best friend of snail farmers. One of the problems of snail, the most difficult thing in snaring is the ants. Because if ant enters into where your snail is, the ant will enter inside them and kill them. And what do you do when you have snaring? You use this. Mix it in this form into opening for Lisa. Is this one different from the former one? Yes, yes. 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 This is AAC insecticide. This AAC insecticide. Now, this AAC insecticide, if you have termite in your farm, termite, you planted like tomatoes, nematode used to disturb tomatoes. And the termite, am I right? Now, what do you do? If you, before you transplant the, the, the tomatoes, get a sachet of this. Open it, put it in 20 liters of water. How many liters? 20 liters of water. Put it in that water, stir it. Any tomato you want to transplant, you put it, put the root inside the water plant. Are you getting what I mean? Yes. Or pepper or anything you want to plant. If you do that in a land where there is termite, they will all run far. And then as I'm talking to you now, you have your quiver or your mango, and they are almost dying because they are all clustered. They are this white, white them. It's all over them. Take this, mix it in the water, use your knapsack or improvise. You know what I mean by improvise? 
get something like this, open the cup, and spread it there. About three, three openings. Yes. When you do that, this doesn't act like shell tox or any of the insect killer. It is not acidic content of the harmful ones. So don't expect that when you spread it, you see the ants, they die. Don't expect that. But the moment you spread it, the odor has entered into them and weakened them. You will see those of them inside coming outside. And you see those that are outside, you see them moving. So you can come to your farm and say, ah, oh, this thing didn't work. I sprayed it yesterday and I was letting all of them to fall down. No, this is nano. This is what? Nano. This is what? Nano. You know how it works? When you spread it, it will weaken them. Number one, they can't eat again. Check the leaf, they eat last. If there are 20 or 100 in that leaf, spread it on them. Check that leaf, they can't eat it again. And when they can't eat again, they begin to fall and die. They begin to fall and die. As they begin to fall and die, they become fertilizer to your soil. They will definitely die. They will definitely die. Because they can't eat again. Bam! They can't eat again. <laughs> Did you understand the workability? Yes. So that when you spread it, fia, 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 you don't stand there and be watching to see how they're not falling though. They're, they're not dying though. The only thing is, and then if you have like um, plantain or things you want to plant like um, coconut, you dig the hole to plant it. If you have coconut that it has been eaten up, See, take the coconut, put water, dip them inside the water you are mixed with this, and then plant. Or you mix it, take the water, dip the hole, take the water, sprinkle into that place you planted, take sand, put it, and the plant. It will pursue the termite far away. If you apply it, in your soil for more than three, four times, in the nearest future, that place will be free from termites. Because every place they, they will run in, they will run in until they get away. And some of them that has caught up, they will all die of hunger. They can't eat again and they will die. Your land will become free for you to plant freely. And then on snaring, snail, if you take this, open it up, put it in the water, then spread it where you have the snail, before you bring in the snail. When you prepare the ground, use this to disinfect this place and around. When you disinfect where they are inside and around outside, the ants cannot clo come close. So that the ant doesn't go into your snail farm to destroy your farm. Because one of the most dangerous things on snaring is the ant going inside the snail house to destroy it. I'm not here to make calculations, but one snail, <laughs> one snail can make you a billionaire in one year. About 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 five five snails or ten snails can give you about fifteen thousand snails. And then when you begin to multiply each of them, in one year you become a billionaire. And the best food for snail is moringa. Moringa. And the moringa leaf is not the greenish one, the torn up ones. The yellow one. So you can even pick on the ground, the ones that fall. But as you're picking, sanitize them, put them into the water that has this. If you go and bring leaves, like mango leaf, every leaf you want to put in the snail, put your basin, soak them on this, and then put it to the snail farm. 
so that you disinfect them from ants. If ant is on the leaf and you put it into the leaf, smell the smell the, the, the ant will go in there and destroy your pain. If you put this round, you can put the feet and your snail will survive. The snail will not die because it is an insecticide, but it can kill the snail. Are you getting me? Yes. How many of us have houses here? And you have fence. You have fence. You see this fence? We are just coming from... Um, well, no, we are coming from Umuahia. And the place we went to Umuahia... Please, stop breeding lizard with your fence. Our fences have become lizard world habitation. Is that not true? You see this fence in your house. You can put rope. Take four of these. Four of these. Open it this way. Open it the double way. Put sand inside it. Take nano fertilizer. Add it. Mix it and add into the sand. You are holding it here. Plant your cucumber. Plant your fruit here. Take rope, hang it on your face. It will germinate and give you a bumper harvest. Pure <laughs> eating. The last, the last date we will stay. This is the second time. Am I right? Yes. Yes. The last day he has a farm. Maybe the last meeting will be in your farm. Yes. Or the last meeting will be in one farm so that we can do practical. Yes, I'll demonstrate to you. So you you will have a bomba kumba harvest. You have a bomba harvest. Watermelon. Sir? Yes, watermelon. Yes. They will give you a bomba harvest. <laughs> you your fence, like this tall fence now, it can give you the first round one, round two, round three. And when they come out, they'll follow the the, the road. And the, when you come back, you see all your seeds doing well. My name okay, is Emmanuel. I'm an agronomist here. And then I'm a poultry farmer. Now, it's such a very privilege to be in this uh, meeting today about uh, nanotechnology and agronomic development and sustenance that is uh, pioneered by a DC corporate. And I'm so delighted I got information from Syria. This has been informed me about this. Uh, like and I'm so sorry that they like that I made mean, it well, this uh, meeting has opened my eyes to the culture. It's not it's in the pattern of the world where you just do it and it doesn't motivate correctly with the use of nanotechnology. You are sure of having a good result that will be an incentive and motivation. I'm just for you. For the future generation, that will be to increase our increase the availability of food to nations and beyond. And I want to encourage farmers. It is time that you stop using the ancient modern pattern and giving it to them a very good opportunity that natural product has made available for us. It will make you to be happy that you are farmer, and then you will always be encouraged. Thank you so much. I'm Reverend Odinia Joseph, Odichibu Jehe by name. We certainly I'm from Ibo, the part of my name of the state. So the way, the, the way I used to understand this uh, nano, nano product or system, a friend came to me and uh, invited me when people came at, uh, uh, the other three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, in the other church. The then I attended and, and, and I met with this uh, uh, chief Machu, Dr. Machu, Machu. He 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 listened to us and he tested this uh, fertilizer so in our places. That's why I'm decent to come here. I wrote my name uh, that, that day. Then uh, uh, there was a fire which I'm carrying that I gave me. I went home and studied it. And everything this is Dr. Machu is a real. So I was a family, I'm a poultry family for many years ago. But they didn't have to be outside of 
city. So when my friends died all about this is coming. That makes me do to fade up. That is why his grace and pick up again from this teaching that I have to the other city now. So that's why I will never fail to attend this meeting. And I'm encouraging all of our ministers of the family, of the farmers, to be encouraged and start from where they stand. Proverbs say that man falleth seven times and stand up seven times. So I believe uh, this is the end of the fall apart. I will not fall again. When I catch up with this teaching, I will go as a man and I will do exploit in the family. Uh, uh, my name is Chimamani Kachukwemeka from my home state. I'm very cheerful. I'm excited to be here. I'm so happy. Because through this seminar, I learned about my poetry, how to know about it, how to know my, my poetry, and, and my chickens will come out to me. I'm so excited. I'm not for it. And I'm happy to be here.